All right, Shalom. All praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to you, brother. Hopefully, that question is word and truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this video here is The Pride of Thine Heart Have Deceived Thee. Okay, so just an update on uh, that submersible, as they call it. Uh, it was it was found and and it said that uh matter of fact it says the titanic bound submersible suffered catastrophic implosion and the u.s navy detected an implosion sunday and told research uh salaki rescuers and official tell cnn okay so it was yeah they been heard the explosion or they been uh, uh realized the explosion or the implosion okay but so they really sent them on a, almost like a wild goose chase or a hunt. All right. But it says submersible passengers died in implosion. Uh, Five adventurers missing on an expedition to the Titanic died in a catastrophic implosion of their submersible deep in the North Atlantic. The U.S. Coast Guard said Thursday, after bits of the craft were found in the ocean floor near the 1912 shipwreckage. Okay, talking about the Titanic, because they was so-called going down there to view the wreckage of the Titanic, which is stupid. Okay. Uh, it's a, it's a couple of points I want to get out these articles to to see to you can see what I'm saying. It says searchers found the debris approximately 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic with robotic equipment that arrived Thursday morning. During the underwater search, a remotely operated vehicle found five identifiable pieces of debris that told investigators it was the remains of the Titan submersible, the Coast Guard said. Okay, that says 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic. Now, uh, you can't even, man can't even physically go that deep into the ocean. Man cannot. Okay. But they believed that they could. Okay. Let's see. It says the failure of the craft's hull and its implosion were likely the result of the intense pressure at at or near the sea floor, according to experts. The area around the Titanic wreck, which lies twelve thousand five hundred feet or more than two miles below the surface exerts about 6,000 pounds of force per square inch on an object. The Titan had left Sunday morning for what was supposed to be an hours long excursion to the Titanic site, but it lost contact with the outside world. Why? Because it was too deep to try to go, first of all, for, for man anyway. Uh, the disappearance set off an urgent international search effort to find them alive. The Coast Guard has said earlier Thursday that crews had identified debris near the Titanic wreckage. Let's see. I'm kind of skipping through this because it's a few key points that I want to uh, point out. Okay. Several aircraft and remotely operated vehicles have been searching for the submersible in an area where underwater noises had been detected several times earlier this week, the Coast Guard has said. And I remember earlier they said that they could hear knocking every in intervals of 30 minutes. Uh, you know, they was getting sounds of that. But it says officers at the Joint Command Center, which includes the U.S. Coast Guard, Canadian officials and experts said the sound that Canadian aircraft detected was apparently unrelated. Given where the debris was found, the pieces were found quite a distance from where the bow, from where the buoys picked, uh, picked the banging sounds, an officer said. So it wasn't even close by there. Okay, so that's that, obviously that noise was something else that they said, that banging noise. Uh, Meager said the vessel's implosion would have been loud enough for sonar buoys to pick up, but no such sound was detected. This the point here. Check this out. 
top secret U.S. Navy acoustic detection system designed to spot enemy submarines first heard the Titan sub implosion hours after the submersible began its mission. The Wall Street Journal reported Thursday citing officials involved in the search. So they knew that that thing had imploded hours after it has <laughs> hours after they had went, went under the water. So that once again, they wasted all the time, you know, getting people talking about it, riled up. And of course, we know that this is this is a distraction. There's other stuff going on. OK. But they wasted all that time, you know, when this was literally discovered Sunday, the day that the day that they went down. All right. All right, so check this out. There's a little more to it. How, uh, let's see. Title says, how deep can a submarine go? Maximum diving depth of subs as debris from the Titan was found. Okay. I'm gonna skip where it says, the Titan submersible which went Missing on Sunday is believed to be somewhere near the wreck, the wreck of the Titanic, 30, uh, 3,800 meters below the ocean surface, 370 miles off the coast of Newfoundland. The U.S. Navy has said it detected a sound consistent with an implosion near where the submersible lost communication and a remotely operated vehicle had discovered the noise, the nose cone of the Titan, around 487 meters from the bow, from the bow of the uh, Titanic. Okay, uh, the passengers who died in the implosion of the, ti- the Titan, which was bolted from outside, or Ocean uh, Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, British businessman, business, businessman uh, I'm gonna skip them names, uh, British Pakistani businessman, uh, and his son. Basically, you got you got billions of dollars of, <laughs> aboard that particular vessel. All right. Let's see. It says, it is estimated that when the submersible lost contact with the surface on Sunday, those inside had around 96 hours of reserve oxygen, which will run out at around 8 a.m. on Thursday, uh, June 22nd. Now, that's just a, a, a great estimate because if, if you ever dealt with being on oxygen or on air, Although those particular tanks can hold a certain amount, they they have an estimated amount. Well, this this oxygen or this air should last this long, so many hours or so many minutes and things like that. That's it's all based on your breathing, okay? Because you can breathe too much and, and suck up all the uh, the air, and then you could also uh you know you could preserve your air by breathing little, not taking deep breath, or do what we call it's two things you call skip breathing or humming, okay? But anyway, that's another thing to preserve oxygen. But uh, but it says a major obstacle involved in the search was the depth at which Titan is likely to have traveled to. At a depth of more than 3000 meters, visibility will virtually zero will be virtually zero without external artificial light sources and water pressure will be immense. OK, so when you get that low. It's no getting out of that. But check the, uh, this the point here. Free divers at low depths risk suffocation or crush lungs from the pressure, which submarines are designed to protect passengers from. Submarines can generally dive. Let's take this out. Submarines can generally dive to a depth of around 300 meters. Remember, this was 1,200 meters below. So it's 900 meters more. OK, but it says uh, of 300 meters for context, the deepest part of the Pacific Ocean, the Mary uh, or 12,000. So like was 12,000 meters below. Uh, but it says for context, the deepest part of the Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench is 11,000 meters deep. 
So that ain't even 300 meters versus 11,000 me, 11, meters, not even close. All right. But look at this. U.S. Los Angeles class submarines. Class, these are class submarines. This is the Navy. Okay. It says have a test depth of around 450 meters, but their maximum dive depth, maximum meaning as far as deep as they can go, is believed to be around 675 to 900 meters. Test depths are the depths that a submarine can travel to under normal peacetime conditions. Okay. Uh, some Russian submarines are believed to reach maximum depths of up to 2,000 meters. Still, it still ain't 1,200. I mean, still ain't 12,000. You see that, though? The biggest challenge that submarines face is the water pressures. Every 10 meters of depth adds one atmosphere of pressure. So, at 300 meters, submarines operate under 30 atmospheres of pressure at a depth at a depth. At this depth, a diver outside the submarine will start to feel effects which is impaired brain function. Okay. The true depths that the best military grade submarines can travel is likely unknown in order to, to protect military secrets. Well, e even though they say it's likely unknown, we're going to go with it. <laughs> they can't do it. The Titan submersible vessel is designed to travel to depths of 3,800 meters to where the wreck of the Titan rests at the bottom of the North Atlantic Ocean. This is almost twice the depth that the best submarines are capable of, capable of traveling to. So you telling me this this little thing here is not, you know, this little sub Titan submersible was, uh, was what they used to get into this thing or to get down there to see it versus what uh, military grades, remember, they spend billions of dollars, billions and billions of dollars on the mil military annually, okay? The military is is uh, what America spends the uh, greatest amount of budget onto, okay? But but no, they, they don't have the best, e so the military would have the best equipment or technology to do certain things, but no. <laughs> All right. Now, Let's look at this uh this word Titan here. Cause the, the submersible was named Titan. This is World History Encyclopedia, okay, ancient.eu. And it says in Greek mythology, the terrible and powerful Titans were those deities which preceded the Olympian gods, never worshipped as the other gods, they nevertheless helped uh through contrast. To clarify the position in the universe of the Olympian gods who defeated the unruly chaotic titans in the Titan, in the uh, Titan, Titanomachy, Titanomachy. Indeed, the very name Titan signifies strainers, referencing their constant struggle against the order of things. Okay, Esau, uh, he, Esau has that complex. Or oh, this is why I say the pride of his heart have deceived him because Esau has a constant struggle against the order of things in which Yahweh Bashamal shall have set up. Okay, the Lord set things in perfect order. Esau goes against that order in every way, shape, form, and fashion. You know, uh, the Lord set things for grow out of the earth, you know, for, for our foods and our fruits and vegetables to grow out of the earth. He says, no. He says, no, we can create them in the lab. He, he, he set up animals for, for us to eat. For meat, you know, for food, he says no. We gonna we gonna have lab grown meat. Okay. The Lord gave seed to all the uh, all the fruits, and he says no. We gonna we gonna uh, gender mix a female fruit with another female fruit and create a seedless fruit. You know, he he constantly goes against the uh, the order of things. All right. So that's what tight the Titan represented. The Titan represented literally the rebellion or the uh the to go against the order. Okay, to you, I, I can go down there. If you you say I can't do it, but I can I can create something to go down there. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, this is Obadiah chapter one verse three. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, 
whose habitation is high, and saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Okay. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Okay. The pride of Esau's heart have literally deceived him. Okay. Esau has so much pride to where he, he think he can't be touched. Okay. He thought he could, they thought they could go down there and, and explore and view the, the wreckage of the Titanic and never had any, any man ever do, uh, ever dove down there, let alone be in a, a, a particular submarine vessel to go down there. The only thing that they've uh, created to actually go down there and view it was literally, uh, you know, some, some machinery in which they created to, to, uh, to withstand that intense pressure to take pictures of it and to see it. Okay. But they want to go and see it for themselves but they <laughs> but they, they got deceived within their own pride all right it's proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall okay esau will be destroyed he will be taken down out of power and his pride is going to lead him to it okay Proverbs chapter 29 verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in the spirit. Okay. So Esau's pride is going to bring him low. Okay. The Lord is going to uh, abase him. But uh, but yeah, no, it was just a uh, quick lesson on it. I just wanted to bring out those articles and just some of that information there. And uh, like I said, uh, hope you're edified. So, shalom.